I'm excited to be filming, I'm sorry. Welcome to 2018, I guess. I still sound kind of sick because I spent my New Year's in a chair, trying my best not to die because I had a super high fever and couldn't move. And today is my first foray back into the living world since that. Since 2017 is over now and it's 2018, I thought I would show you my sketchbook because I finished, well, I think I started it in 20, 2017, when I first got the apartment. So I think that's 2017, January. Did I date any of this? I don't think I did. I think I just started it. It's almost completely full. I do have about nine pages that I have not put anything on. But in all honesty, I've never finished a sketchbook before. So that's about right for me. Okay, so I started this sketchbook when I first moved into this apartment, but this first drawing of the egg I actually did in college. So this is actually pretty old. Just ignore that one. Um, I don't like sketchbook tours that take like two hours. So I'm only pausing on pages that have some sort of story behind them or ones that I have the finished artwork to compare with. Uh, this first couple of pages are all sort of people studies and face studies and figure studies. This one I actually have a video for. Kind of an inspired <laughs> painting. I named it an artist study, but it's not actually. Some paper, different textures. This crocodile or alligator painting um, is actually kind of weird. I sketched the drawing on this piece of wood and then carved all of the line work out. And then I completely forgot about it. So I just did like a base layer of paint, which is why all the colors are really weird. And then I just left it. Um, later I painted the background and the black line work, but I actually like it a lot. Uh, more animal studies, figure studies. This was me listening to podcasts all day and musicals, so I was like just, just drawing as I was listening to stuff. This is the um, Spring Cyclops video that I did. I actually really like the sketch better than the like final piece, but they're pretty different. These are all Adventure Zone sketches as I was listening to the Adventure Zone. This is an Adventure Zone an animatic that I thought about doing. That's a piece of cutout paper that I was doodling on at work that I just taped into the sketchbook. More sort of paint studies on different mixed paper. Plague medicine sketch, just because I thought it would be fun. This sketch... Um, I wrote C painting on it because the painting looks almost exactly the same. I wanted to play with color, like warm colors versus cool colors, creating a feeling using color. As you can see though, my sketches are completely different than my actual drawings a lot of the time. This piece was my, my first commission piece. Thank you, Kaylee. It's the water iris video. Um, I did this really really weird looking iris in my sketchbook before I actually drew it on the final piece. Just to kind of figure out what was happening and how it was supposed to lay. Man, I just stopped doodling for a while. These two girls are actually, when I was feeling a little bit down about my own appearance, I had like a death hawk and only wore t-shirts and I was like, oh man, can I be feminine? So I drew two ladies, one feminine, feminine and one masculine with totally different hairstyles. Um, these are some museum studies. This is one of my favorite paintings. It's actually a Lily of the Valley inspired painting. Um, speaking of, I will probably put it in my store that I'm going to be making in 2018. Please let me know what you would like to see as a print because I would love to get your feedback. I made a little poll in the YouTube little circle icon, which is also where I will be listing all of the videos that I made that are in relation to pieces that I mentioned in this video. Oh, this is actually my uh, my VidCon planning before I even got to VidCon. I was looking at the schedule. Oh yeah, another video. These are uh, bright colors and creepy, I mean, happy faces. Then we have a few pages of notes I took at VidCon and hey look, a Megan Tenyus autograph. I planned to do, to do drawings in these blank pages, but I just never did.
Um, this sketch is looks completely different from the final piece. I did a 4th of July sort of painting with watercolor and gouache and I filmed a video for this and I just never put it out and I probably never will. Sorry, it happens. Um, thumbnail paintings. These notes are all flower meanings because I love flower meanings. More flower meanings. A video that I planned out and again never did. Hey, Inktober! <laughs> um, I, as you can see, I did more Inktober than I actually showed you. I have all of them up on my Instagram, but I never actually put out the videos. I filmed all of them. I really like this crooked man, dude. Shattered is made of different papers. I did a portrait of myself in present tense and in high school and shattered them. Fierce, which is a pasted in piece of paper because I didn't want to draw <laughs> with pencil for some reason. Kiki in the clouds. My thumbnail sketches. This was me testing out a new pen and as you can see it bled through so I just like drew pink on the other side. This was a sketch that I did to deal with all of the stress I was feeling with net neutrality and with the California fires but I completely changed my final design and that was the video that you saw. I originally had planned to have it be like, ah, oh, I feel all stuck in the goop and then I was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna draw what's in my head. Hey, this is the kitty sketch from the last video. I did not draw anything. I didn't sketch anything on the inside. I just started drawing that. Like I, I drew the final cat and then just drew the stuff on the inside. <laughs> this is the whole like scripty journal entry thing that I did to go with the last video. Here's the question I was going to ask if I should finish this sketchbook or move on from it. But I think I've already decided it's time to move on. 2017 is over and I did this in 2017. It's time for some fresh pages and a new sketchbook. So let's do that. These are both moleskins, but this is a Strathmore drawing pad, which I actually really love. The issue is it's not a hardcover. So let's make it hardcover. I first learned how to do this from Minnie Small. She has a lovely video on her channel about how to cover any sketchbook in paper or cloth. And all I did is put the chipboard pieces in between the paper. So there's my semi-final sketchbook that I'm gonna be using for 2018. I will definitely be decorating it and adding some other elements. Don't forget to tell me what prints you would wanna see. Let me know in the little poll or leave a comment. I will see you in the rest of 2018. I love you. I'll talk to you later.